This is a video abstract for the paper published by Vallejos and Osorio in 2014 in Special Statistics. I will start with uh, the definition of what we call effective sample size. The first idea was given by Cressy in his book, 1993 book, and he considered there an autoregressive process of order one, and using that idea he computed the variance of y bar under independence and the variance of y bar under the correlation structure, structure of the AR1 process. So he defined the effective sample size as the number of IID observations contained in the samples of size n. So the question we answer, we answer in that paper is how many uh, independent observations we have uh, contained in a sample of size n for any correlation structures means that if we have y s1, y s2, until y s n, we put this in a vector, and these are the locations in the space, and this is the variable of interest. So we assume that this is a Gaussian process with a constant mean, and a covariance structure that depends on some few parameters. So if the uh, correlation matrix associated with this sigma is R, we define the ESS as one transpose R to the minus one, one. So in the paper, we develop the theory for this uh, uh, quantity, and especially we, uh, uh, we consider uh, many correlation structure, pattern correlation structure like this. Uh, for example, uh, interclass correlation, uh, uh, toplitz matrices, car processes, SAR processes, and bivariate uh, normal processes. And for all of them, we uh, determine how this coefficient looks like. In addition, we developed the uh, Remo estimation, it means that restricted maximum likelihood estimation based on the paper given by Cressy and Lahiri in 1996. After that, we do some Monte Carlo simulations and two applications are given in this paper. The first one is uh, related to soil contamination and the second one using forest data. I kindly invite you to read our paper. Thank you.